Now, when we do that and we get these instruments that can look more broadly than a very, very targeted radio telescope that can look more broadly, when we get that, can you apply the algorithm to that, Peter? So that's an interesting idea. I haven't really thought about that just yet in terms of the future of using some building some kind of algorithm for a 24-7 SETI observation. But as it stands right now, this algorithm will probably not scale too greatly with like without changing anything and just plug and play it will probably not do too well in the sense that like i said it requires a lot of pointing like of the telescope to conduct any kind of study work unless we can't just be staring at one patch of the sky and seeing what comes into our dishes and we need to be moving around for this kind of approach or with this kind of algorithm. And so, like I said, developing some kind of spatial filtering technique is the next step that we're trying to work on. And that would be much more promising for this idea of a 24-hour, all-the-time SETI work, uh, as you described. Now, do you think that, now again, telescope time is always the, the problem for any astronomer, radio, visual, whatever. It's always a problem for everybody's telescope time and funding, of course. So do you think that with our efforts in SETI right now, and I welcome an answer from either one of you, do you think our efforts in SETI right now are inadequate to actually detect an alien civilization? Or do you think that we actually got a good chance with what we're doing? I think we definitely haven't looked enough. This is this would be my first answer to it as to why we haven't detected anything. It's, it's just because we haven't looked enough. Like so far, of the order of a thousand stars have been monitored for ETI signals, and that is such a small fraction compared to the total number of stars in our Milky Way galaxy. And not uh, not to say that those thousand stars that we have looked at. We didn't look at them all the time, which is maybe we've looked at each of them for half an hour. So it doesn't mean that in even if the in that half an hour they didn't transmit any signal, doesn't mean there is nothing there, right? Yeah, so I think having an all sky monitor would be of course great, but we're not quite there yet. However, what we're working on these days is the is the so called commensal observations which means we're trying to get the telescope and we're trying to piggyback on other astronomers' projects so that when the, the telescope is doing whatever observations, we'll try to make a copy of the data and look for ETI signals at the same time. Yeah, I also want to add on that although it seems a little pessimistic that we've only searched through a handful of a thousand targets i i do want to emphasize that in the in the total span of human history there has never been a better opportunity as we speak to have be doing SETI work and have a more likely chance of finding some actual techno signatures so i just want to say that the future is bright and this is a exciting time in in history to be doing this kind of science Oh, yes. <laughs> that is something that's very, that I'm very cognizant of that because all it takes is one. And then all, and there it is. We've made the most profound discovery in human history. Yeah. And we would know that we are not alone. And that would be the, a first for our history and would reframe mm -hmm. everything. 